Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today everybody is talking about education but the biggest irony is very few people are working in this field and rest of the people are talking utter nonsense. Therefore, today we will talk about physics. Don't worry, I'm not a teacher, I'm an engineer and running my very small online consulting firm. All of us have once read Sir Isaac Newton's theory of gravitation, equations of motion, speed of sound and their rules. But we did not understand anything and that's true. Although children who could not go to school due to poverty and could not read above mentioned laws, I'm a little bit sad for them. As I could not do anything for them. I'm ashamed and I'm ashamed of myself as well. And this aspect will remain forever. Before moving any further, I will request from children and their parents that they attend my class sitting together. And it really, really, really doesn't matter whether you are highly educated or not. And the best part of the video is those who do not have a background in science can also learn. I myself believe you cannot teach physics in 100 or 200 square feet room. And that is why I'm here today. I have divided this class in two parts. First part is for beginner, those who studied in junior classes. And second part is advanced class those who studied in higher classes or in colleges. Why advanced class? Because we're going to use speed of sound and lots of mathematical calculation is involved. Let's begin. I'm standing beside two well. This is old one and that is new one. You already know what is a tube well. A pipe with holes that is put deep into the ground to bring up water from under the ground. Now my question is, water is there? You don't know but I know there is water in it. But we don't know the depth or distance of water, but still we have to find the distance or depth of water. If you go through physics textbook, you may have given certain values, but here you have nothing. You have to use your intelligence here. If anybody can do this activity by using equation of motion and gravity, then I'll call them genius. And those who cannot do it, still I'll call them genius as well. Because if you are aware about the word, society, culture, religion, climate change, you are genius. Except terrorism, human trafficking, poverty, corruption and destruction of nature. They are not genius. Now come to the point. Believe me, not only engineers, but also the teachers or professors who are teaching physics cannot do it. If you ask me whether we can solve it or not, my answer is yes, Sir Isaac Newton made it possible. After learning from this video, you can solve not only thousands, but millions of problems. Now my turn. I want you to observe carefully. Just observe carefully. What exactly I need to do? I need a stone, irrespective of big, medium and small. I'll call it the stone and a stopwatch. Why stopwatch? My answer is, first of all, we have to find out the time in which the stone hit the water after being dropped, as time is an important part of science. As soon as you drop the stone, just turn on your stopwatch. When stone hit the water, it will produce the tap sound. But in European country and African country, they use pling, ping or slosh sound instead of tap sound. So don't confuse about the produced sound. It will definitely produce a sound. And as soon as you get the sound, tap sound, just turn off your stopwatch. Easy? Let me do it for you. I want you to be focused. Now it's a stone and I'm dropping it. As soon as I drop the stone, I just turn on the stopwatch. Ready? Did you hear the tap sound? I have already turned off the stopwatch and I have got the time that is 4.5 seconds. Remember this figure, 4.5 seconds. Let's move on to the other part that is initial velocity. If you don't know the initial velocity of the stone, you will not be able to perform this activity. Initial velocity is quite simple. I'm going to make it easy for you. Now focus once again. I am an object. I am at I'm not moving. Stone is an object. Stone is not moving. We both are on rest mode. If you drop the stone like this, initial velocity is always zero because the object is on rest. Got my point? Easy. Now, if I drop the stone like this, it may have initial velocity because I'm applying force. My hand is moving. The stone is moving. Now, forget about the second situation in which you applied the force. Just remember the first situation. Therefore, we got the initial velocity of the stone that is zero because the object is on rest. Now, my partner, Uncle Tendu, will solve the equations for you. Welcome to my class. 
let's begin why am i making all this because picture should be clear if picture is not clear then you will not be able to do it after all you are learning about something that few people know today at the end of the class you can perform this activity at home yeah you can we have three equations of motion and they are as follows first in asia in other countries first equation second equation and third equation and you have to remember all three equations yes you have to remember i have also mentioned legends over there you don't need to mug it up no you don't need to mug it up just observe carefully it is imperative you to understand distance displacement depth and height all are represented by s all are represented by s g is gravity constant the value of g is 9.8 or we can take the gravity value 10 also for easy calculation because 9.8 is so close to 10 now we have three equations of motion and which equation you're going to use to determine the distance and depth of the water what are we going to find is distance and distance is represented by s now look carefully where is my marker it's right here in first equation s is not there therefore reject it in second equation s is there perfect in third equation again bloody s is there and final velocity is also there and i have not taught you final velocity so far therefore we're going to use second equation of motion to determine the distance and depth of the water making sense to you are you with me so far this is our second equation of motion now observe carefully once again this is tubel and this is me yeah i know i'm not a good painter let's focus on the board when you drop the stone it falls down agree or let me correct myself when you drop the stone it will definitely fall down the stone fall toward the earth then there exists gravitational force of attraction and that is due to the earth that is gravity all about therefore we're going to use g instead of a acceleration here we're going to use g instead of a acceleration agree now write down the values we have we have initial velocity zero my nephew told you initial velocity for this equation same zero time 4.5 second the stone took 4.5 second to hit the water after being dropped okay gravity 9.8 if somebody wants to calculate the distance while taking gravity 10 you can do it no problem okay now this is the second equation put all the values in this equation and calculate it u zero when there is no sign use multiplication t 4.5 second plus half g 9.8 and the square of 4.5 again t is there t is there okay now if my math is right i know it always is when zero multiplied by 4.5 it becomes zero okay half into 9.8 and the square of 4 is 16 and the square of 4.5 is 20.25 i know everything okay 20.25 now half of 9.8 is 4.9 4.9 multiplied by 20.25 you will get the distance in meter remember okay the unit of distance is meter and if you taking gravity 10 you will get the distance 101.25 meter both figures are correct but this is precise this is precise as far as science is concerned figure matters a lot let me make it very clear for you at the beginning you may need paper and pen and initially you will have to practice a little bit once you become a master you can calculate on fingertips no matter how hard the problem is chamka chamka Oh, sorry, uh, Chamka is a Hindi language word, which means, did you get my point? Anyways, I try not to speak in Hindi language, but I couldn't stop myself from speaking Hindi language because Hindi language is my mother tongue. You can perform this activity at home also. What exactly you need to do is take a bucket, fill it up with water, put the bucket here. You need to go to the top floor of your building, then drop a stone, calculate the time, put the value in the second equation and 
you will get the distance okay now safety instruction don't do too much of gravity analysis or motion analysis otherwise it will lead to paralysis <laughs> If you still do not understand then listen to some good music especially David Guetta Zara Larsson Ali Goulding and my favorite Luna Shadow as music reduces the stress and anxiety lifts your mood boosts your health just like me suffering from obesity takes away your pain and even makes you smarter anyways whatever the process or technique i have told you here is absolutely right and i'm 99.99% sure for me 100% is god so far we have solved two problems first we have calculated the distance of water and second problem was someone asked an engineer why do you feel so proud of being an engineer answer is we feel proud because stethoscope in hand is identity of doctor file in hand is identity of lawyer hammer in hand is identity of thor ragnarok but 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 nothing in hand everything in mind is the identity of an engineer Even if you do not understand then feel free to ask me through Twitter Instagram anytime I will definitely clear all your doubts now I must go Sony PlayStation and video games need me so wait for the next advanced class thank you